Hi there, welcome to Plastic Junkies Retro Toy Cave. That's right. I'm gonna start putting new titles in my in my videos. Uh, John is always with us in spirit. He's next to me on my more than spirit. Oh, I'm my actually life. here. Okay, he's after. He's right All there. Right. You, I tapped him. Anyways, we're gonna do uh, now. Every time we do something, it's gonna be called for old stuff retro. For horror, it's gonna be a horror plastic junkies midnight massacre. What? What? Good. This is nothing. Good. You made a funny face. Then we're gonna do hurt. and we're no problem. And then we're when, when we're gonna do also I'm gonna try out what's it called the uh, retro video games plastic junkie style. Oh yeah. Yeah man. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So here we are with two of mm. you're not you're not you're not seeing doubles. You're actually seeing two versions of take it away, Joe. The 1985. Sears exclusive Cobra Cat. So the Crimson Attack Tank. That's right. Uh, this one, like I said, like we said before, this is the Canadian version, this is the American version. Well, however, guys, we're not, but Plastic Junkie and I, we're not 100% positive that this is the Canadian. This is our best assumption. Well, yeah, it was available in, in Canada in Sears and consumers distributing. And this one was available in? Oh yeah, this one, this one with the red pieces. We know without a shadow of a doubt that this is in fact the uh, Sears 1985 exclusive Cobra Cat. Only in America. USA. God bless America. Yeah. So, yeah, there she is. And it's got uh, all of the pieces that it included. The only removable piece, I think, was this uh, cannon yeah, tip. Yeah, this little thing here. But you know what? I'm not going to take it off. I don't want to show it. No, no. Uh, we finally found uh, the the one for this, this uh, the other video we did, uh, yeah. the first one. Uh, may I touch it a little bit? Yep. Okay. Here we have Cobra Commander, but we have the regular Cobra Commander. He is the regular Cobra Commander with the 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 refixed um, the refixed uh, Sigma of Cobra. Uh, like I said before, I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna say it a thousand more times. I love Cobra. Gosh Almighty. My collection is huge. Don't worry about it. My collection of huge of, of GI Joes. I have close to four four hundred and plus vintage GI Joes. I have about probably sixty carded, about probably fifty boxed vehicles. And uh, loose have a lot. I, I don't remember. I think about 300 loose. But they're all from one guy's collection. They're museum pieces. Me, I love G.I. Joe, but I don't, like I said before, and I'll say it again, I like to buy them all in one bulk. And these were never played with. They're beautiful. Now, Mr. Joe Nerd said, uh, but I don't understand the uh, plastic PJ. He goes, I've seen one with the red. Yes, this is the one with the red. And these are the one with the black. See what I like? I like both styles. These are gonna are gonna go in my Kia showcases. One with Baroness because I want to show you one with Baroness. She's uber sexy. I find her so hot. I, I like I said I love the female figures they made in the vintage style of retro GI Joe. And I like old toys. I like all kinds of toys. I collected all kinds of toys, even new toys. But I don't touch a, a lot of new new stuff. What I like about this one is that. You could actually see the the, the the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, wheels of a tank with the, with the rubber underneath. So imagine, imagine one day, you know, like in the future, these tanks exist. They're growing through bodies of skeleton and everything, and scra crashing everybody uh, and destroying GI Joe you're, headquarters. You're thinking of uh, Terminator. Yeah, Terminator. Terminator exactly. Well, yeah, it sounds like that. <laughs> but imagine that. Imagine Plagiarism. That. What? No, imagine that. Okay. Imagine that, that one day uh, Cobra will destroy the world. Cobra! <laughs> Cobra doesn't exist. <laughs> I know. What? I like it. Cobra does exist. Go ahead, Joner. Uh, right. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, so, and aside from me accidentally making Cobra Commander their breakdance on this table here we got going, but uh, yeah, the Plastic Junkie <laughs> has... Sorry switched it up a little bit guys uh, for those of you who watched the earlier video of, with this Cobra cat with all the black pieces uh, we did have a Cobra commander figure in it uh, piloting it however this is the regular Cobra insignia on yeah, his, just to on change his it up chest. A little bit. Yeah, It'll just make people more interested. Yeah, exactly. So just uh, to clear that up, if any of you uh, weren't 
weren't sure that this is in fact is a different Cobra Commander figure than that first one we showed. And yeah, that, I, I think you wanted to keep this as a short enough video, eh, Plastic yeah, Junkie? I, I just want to point out that, you know, the, the little stickers are different from the other one. You know, mm -hmm. like, uh, you see, uh, my friend that I got him off, he put one sticker here, here, he didn't put, here, he put the other ones. Because like he said, he goes, he wanted to keep more of the American stickers on uh, the vehicles because he says that G.I. Joe was an American-based action figure, in which I agree with him. And uh, even though I'm Canadian, but originally I'm Italian, I'm not Canadian, I'm an Italian Canadian. I love both versions of this. If anyone asks me what's your favorite one, I would say this one. It's because the red piece, wow, I like all Crimson vehicles they made in the vintage ones. They're all beautiful and I love Tiger Force. They're my favorite. Like from the, the good guys, I like the Tiger Force and I like a few of uh, the main characters. And um, all I could say is that I give both of them a seven and a half. I never do this, but it's too nice. Seven and a half on a five, man. They're so beautiful. They're gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous vehicles. Uh, honestly, guys, get yourself one in your collection. These are both. They're so beautiful. Like, wow. she looks be beautiful inside there. If looks... you can afford it. Yeah, if you can afford it. Why? How much do they go for? Her? I I really don't know, but I know that they're very they're very expensive. If you can find these, you know, of course, they're 1985 series yeah. exclusive. You know. But, I have a point. I, I think he's right, Joe Nerd. I think that this one, Joe Nerd, would go about a hundred and up. Ooh, really, I shouldn't say. I'm. I'm not really a I'm guy. I'm taking for, a guess. Yeah, I'm not really a guy that's good with values. I'm. I'm and more... I, I think this one goes a little bit more higher because it's a, it's a, it's a Crimson exclusive one, and this one goes a little bit more higher. So basically, let's say that you you you're gonna pay between say eighty to one hundred and fifty dollars loose. Complete. Let's just give it a, a that number. Let's say eighty to one hundred and twenty. That's more comfortable. What do you think, Joe Nerd? Oh, I, I again. That's I fine. really shouldn't say plastic that's junkie. Fine. Yeah. It's cool. It's cool. Uh, well, that's all I could say about it. I love this. These pieces. There you are. This is for all the Joe, the Joe nerds. Yeah, all the Joe nerds <laughs> that love GI Joes and all the the plastic junkie that loves GI Joes. Yeah. Thank you very much for uh, commenting and uh, subscribing to our channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'm trying to hit 200 by, by the end of December. Yay! So, G.I. Joe, Cobra, rock on, stay plastic.